Osama bin Laden. Danny Dietz was a Navy SEAL killed in Afghanistan in 2005. I am so proud. It was one of my son's best friends that was involved in um, the taking down of Osama. Sydney tells us that the Navy SEAL had vowed to avenge Danny's death. The Colorado man who flew to Pakistan to hunt down Osama bin Laden says he is ecstatic to hear about bin Laden's death. Gary Faulkner of Greeley says he was squealing like a pig when he heard the news about bin Laden. Faulkner was found in the forests of Pakistan last year, armed with a sword, a pistol, and night vision goggles. He told Pakistani officials he wanted to kill bin Laden. Faulkner says it doesn't matter who killed him, but somebody had to stand up to bin Laden. He says the death reinforces his own faith in God. Karen Trinidad, News Radio 850 KOA. Tonight at Colorado Christian University, Sarah Palin headlines an event to pay tribute to our troops. Even though the event starts at 7 o'clock, this guy's already there. I really want to see Sarah Palin. My, my wife is a big fan. I'm a big fan, and we want to, we want to see Sarah. And this woman. She really resonates with the common, average Republican, you know, conservative values. Um, you know, nice lady. That really resonates with a lot of people. Also speaking tonight is retired Lieutenant General William Boykin. It's going to cost you more to leave your car at DIA starting next month. The least expensive lots, for instance, Pikes Peak, Mount Albert, East and West Economy lots, the increase is only $1. Airport spokesman Laura Cole says the garage is going up $3 from $18 to $21 a day. The new rates start June 1st. The hourly rate is not going up. The Dow didn't go up. It went down today three points, and the NASDAQ closed off by nine. <laughs> So far, pretty decent ride out on the freeways. We have some earlier accidents in the 3 o'clock hour. Both of those are gone. You'll still find some residual slowdown northbound I-25 from the Downing Street Bridge pushing towards 6th Avenue. So now it's resembling more of an afternoon, a typical afternoon drive. Taking a look at I-70, not too bad. We are starting to see some slower speeds westbound right around Washington. Also westbound 270, pretty heavy between Vasquez and York Street. Also southbound I-25, just a bit of crowding getting into downtown. Uh, I, but not really too bad. We do have one crash at Colfax and Poplar. I'm Vicki Evans, News Radio 850 KOA. Intervals of clouds and sunshine this afternoon with a passing shower. High 55 to 59. Tonight, clear. It's partly cloudy and cold. Low 30. Partly cloudy tomorrow with a warmer afternoon. High 66 to 70. Partly sunny and breezy Wednesday. High 70. Thursday, plenty of sunshine. High 73. I'm AccuWeather. It's Brian Bay on News Radio 850. We have 45 degrees right now. This update is sponsored by Fitzgerald Casino Blackhawk. Sports is next with Mark Johnson, then the ride home. I'm Susan Witkin, News Radio 850. 850 KOA Sports. I'm Mark Johnson. Well, what a Friday night it's going to be in Boulder. The Pac-12 announcing today that the Buffalo's football game with the USC Trojans at Folsom Field has been moved to Friday, November 4th. It'll be under the lights up in Boulder originally and been scheduled for Saturday the 5th. Denver Broncos now have their first draft in a rearview mirror under the Elway Fox Sanders triumphant. The head coach, John Fox, interacting with season ticket holders this afternoon, about 6,500. In fact, another one of those Broncos conference calls. And of all things, Fox was asked if the franchise has ever considered trading Tim Tebow. You're always looking to improve your football team.